So earlier in this course, we went over how we can create variables, how we can create loops, and how we can create very small pieces of programs, such as that addition calculator we did with the while loop. Now, one of the core concepts of programming is being able to reuse your code as much as possible. And this is usually done through functions. So if we create a part of the program that has to connect to the internet, we don't want to have to create that code over and over and over again. We want to be able to create it once and reuse it as much as possible. And this is where functions come in. So let's get started immediately with creating a sample function. And to define a function, all you have to do is type in def followed by the function name. And this function is just going to say hello to random people. And we're also going to provide an argument and I'll go more in depth about what arguments are in the next video, but for now, we're just going to provide it and we're just going to provide a name. And the first thing I'm going to show you inside here, and this is completely optional, this is going to be how we can write some documentation for our functions. And in general, you just have to write three quotation marks and it's going to create this block. Now, anything you type inside here will be registered as part of the documentation. But let's go back and we're just going to write that this function says hello to a person. Then right below that, we can insert any kind of code we want. And this is going to be fairly simple. We're just going to go ahead and print a formatted string that says hello, followed by the name we pick and an exclamation mark. Now, as you can see, we do not have to write this piece of code each time we use it. Now we can just go ahead and type in say hello, followed by the name that we want to say hello to, such as Luigi. And we can also say hello to Mario. And when we run the program, you're going to notice in the console that we said hello to Luigi and we said hello to Mario. Now you may be wondering, why don't we just print this two times instead? So for example, if we were to do this, print Mario and print Luigi, why don't we just do that? So the problem with doing this is that we have to edit each one separately if we want to make any changes. For example, if we want to write goodbye Mario and goodbye Luigi instead of hello, we have to change both of these separately. And that can be time consuming when you have a lot more code. So let's go back to our functions and just to demonstrate how much easier it is now, all we have to do is type in goodbye here and it's going to change both of these to goodbye. So functions save us a lot of time with executing certain pieces of code and they are reusable and it's a lot easier to edit them than if we had to manually type it out all by itself. And you may be wondering from earlier, why did we include this? What is it? Well, in most scenarios, you'll probably never use it. I just wanted to show you that in IntelliJ and other programs, now if we go over and hover over our function, it's going to give us this small box that tells us what we have to do here. And it's also going to give us the documentation at the bottom. And this can be very helpful for people that are reading your code for the first time and don't really know what you're doing. It's just nice to see these comments that tell you how something works. And in general, it also works for inbuilt functions such as the input that you're very familiar with. If we hover over that, it's going to give us a lot of documentation. And I believe if we do control plus B, it's going to take us straight to the function. And you're going to notice immediately that in the Python program, it has this documentation string inside it. So it's present in a lot of professional functions, but if you want to do it for your own, that's fine as well. Otherwise, it's also easy just to add a comment, although this does not pop up when we hover over the function. But let's go ahead and create one more sample function such as def calculate and we're going to type in a b and c and my spelling is awful today there we go and all we're going to do is calculate the total which is a plus b plus c then right below that we're going to go ahead and print a formatted string the total of a plus b plus c is total and now we can use this function wherever we want. We can calculate three numbers anytime we need. We can go calculate one, two, three, calculate minus 10, 10,000, or even just 20. And when we run this, you're going to notice the total of one plus two plus three is six, 
the total of minus 10 plus 10,000 plus 20 is 10,010. So now we can reuse this as much as we want and it has simplified the whole process of creating snippets of code that we want to reuse later. So that was the very basic concept of functions. In the next lesson, we're going to go over how we can use arguments.